Hey guys. Hey guys. We're back with another Walking Dead predictions video. This time doing our predictions of The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 2, titled The Well. If you're not completely caught up on The Walking Dead and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because the odds are we're going to spoil the hell out of The Walking mm -hmm. Dead. The promo that followed the premiere was kind of a season seven overall promo. The sneak peek that we got specifically for episode two only showed us Carol and Morgan in the kingdom. So as far as we know, this is going to be a kingdom exclusive episode. And I really hope that's the way it goes because I think we need to break away from Rick and the gang for at least an episode. Yeah, I agree. I think... Last night's episode, um, despite its flaws, was really intense. Mm -hmm. And we kind of, like, the fandom, th those who weren't prepared for some of the deaths last night, um, needs a break. And we mm -hmm. need to step away from Negan, and we need to step away from Rick and the group. And we need to step away from Daryl. Yes. People are super pissed at Daryl right I now. I never thought I'd see the day where the fandom turned against Daryl, but it totally seems like that's where it was this today. At, at least for last night and early this morning, yeah. the fandom has totally turned against Daryl. I bet he wins their heart back, though. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> so since we have so little information to contribute to our predictions for this video, we're going to do kind of a long-term predictions, what we think will happen for Season 7 and possibly beyond. Yeah. First of all, I really think we're going to get a Carol-Ezekiel romance. Yeah, because... In the comics, um, it's, Michonne. it's Michonne and Ezekiel, but Michonne's with Rick, so that would make sense. And if Ezekiel's written as awesomely in the show as he is in the comics, I'm totally down for that. Hells yeah. Yeah. I also think that my prediction for Daryl to take over Dwight's story in the comic book, I think that is more valid now than it was before the premiere. Because Negan really likes Daryl. Daryl's tough. Daryl didn't break. Daryl stood up to him. He's like, you don't kill that. You use it. Yeah. So taking Daryl prisoner, I think Negan is going to try and turn Daryl against Rick and the gang. Yeah. And I think eventually... Dwight is going to do something. He's going to he's going to die. Maybe not in season seven, but sometime right before or during the early parts of the All Out War arc. Whenever they finally get to that, I look for Dwight to die and for Daryl to step in as one of Negan's lieutenants. Let's talk about Carl. In the comics, Negan really likes Carl. Like he kind of takes a fascination with. Carl because of the eye and he thinks it's gruesome and, and awesome yeah and awesome and um you know Carl does some stuff that's pretty stupid and he kind of just admired that he was like ah he totally could have died but whatever he's my kind of kid like, and that doesn't seem like that's the road they're going to be taking no. for this for the show I don't think Negan's going to take the fascination in Carl that he did in mm. the comics this version of Carl the television version of Carl doesn't seem quite as reckless as the comic book version of Carl was at this point. Yeah, he's a lot more mature. Not that the television version of Carl is completely mature and level-headed. No. He's not, but he's definitely more mature and more level-headed than his comic book version counterpart at this point in the story. Yes. Maggie is still in the midst of a miscarriage. I think she definitely is going to lose the baby. We're not going to get a baby Herschel in the television show. Yeah, no, I, I think it... It just doesn't make sense as a, like from a writer standpoint, to have two babies on one show. Yeah. Um, You've got one worthless character yeah, already. It's, it's you don't need to. It's a worthless character that's not going to do anything for many years. Um, yeah, I, I don't see them keeping the baby, um, but I do think she's going to adopt Enid. Yeah. Enid is basically the show's version of Sophia at this point. Yeah. In the comic book, Glenn and Maggie ad adopted Sophia. Enid is that version. Enid is going to be Maggie's de facto daughter. Yes. Now let's talk about Rick. Um, in the comics, Rick from the get-go kind of always had this in the back of his mind, we're just going to play along until we can figure out how to defeat Negan. Mm -hmm. 
Rick was really broken last night in that episode. Like, I don't see that version of Rick right now. I think Rick is going to be broken for a couple of episodes and not going to want to do anything to piss off Negan. Um, I do think eventually he's going to realize, no, this has to stop. We have to shut this down. Um, and I think Maggie's actually going to be monumental in that decision. Like, she's going to get Rick back on page. But right now, he's terrified. Like, he almost was forced to cut off Carl's arm. I don't think he's going to want to rock the boat at all. I think he is broken for right now. And once the saviors left last night, Maggie got up and she's like, all right, we got to prepare to go to war. Like, she was ready to fight. Not capable to fight, but mentally and emotionally ready to fight. Yeah. And Rick kind of had to talk her down a little bit. Like, we can't. Yeah. Rick is incredibly broken right now, to a level that the comic book version of Rick never really was. And going from the promos that we've seen so far, that's really kind of all we, we can predict. We would love to know what your predictions are for the season 7 of The Walking Dead. Your thoughts, how you think this season is going to shake out, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please let us know by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews and Walking Dead predictions and all kinds of geeky awesomeness. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.